Namaste. Welcome to your practice. My name is Janine. And today we're going to be practicing revealing the heart, revelation of the heart. Let me begin with reading our opening. It's a little longer today, but hopefully it will benefit you. So take a comfortable seat. Revelation of the heart. <clears throat> if we are a part of nature, then it only makes sense that by learning about nature, we also learn about ourselves. Therefore, we ask the question, what is, nat what is the nature of nature? Nature expresses herself in five phases, three more common and two less common. For me, these are like laws of nature, phases that are constantly happening to maintain the order of life. The three common phases are that of life, maintenance, and death, or birth, maintenance, and death. Looking at the world, we can see this to be true. Nature creates, nature maintains itself, nature dissolves itself. Life is in constant flux between these three phases. While the leaves are falling off the trees in the northern hemisphere, they are growing on the trees in the south while still thriving on the trees in other areas proximal to the equator. As humans, we are born, we live, and then we die. It's universal. But there are two other phases that, as conscious beings, we experience. The phase of concealment and that of revelation. Revelation is where we remember something. This includes moments where we finally understand a lesson we learned a while ago. It's the aha moments, as well as the seemingly mundane moments, such as that moment you remembered where you put your keys after, of course, you turned your house upside down. <laughs> Concealment is the precursor for revelation. In order to remember something, we must have had to forget it. In order to find something, it must have been hidden. Concealment is nature's way of hiding from us our supreme knowledge, our knowledge of life and of who we are. But why? So that we can reveal, of course, uh, so that we can revel, of course, in the joy and excitement of finding ourselves, of remembering who we are and of experiencing who we are in everything that we do. The yoga practice has this dual power. One of helping us better understand, of helping us better understand this process of revelation. For example, the revelation of the heart or even of the physical heart, which often gets hidden when we forget or neglect our posture in the area of the chest, shoulders, and upper back. And two, ultimately, it ultimately prepares us, our body and our mind, to handle the incredible charge that sometimes accompanies the discovery of our innate abundance. Let's open with Om. Om. Begin on all fours. And on all fours, turn your fingers to face outwards. So your fingers turn out 90 degrees and just sway side to side. Stretching open the inner arms, the inner arms that connect into the chest. So we're going to open the area of the chest, shoulders, upper back, feeling this, the revelation of the heart. And then turn your fingers towards you. Sit towards your heels with your toes tucked under. And then inhale, lift your chin up, lengthen the back of your neck. Keep it long as you bring your chin back down. Lengthen the neck as you lift up. Inhale. Exhale, back down. See if we can soften, keep going, soften between your shoulder blades. This area that tends to get concealed, right? It tends to bunch up, closes the back of the heart. Good, and then come back to center on all fours. Bring, uh, bring, come down, sorry, to your belly. And as you rest on your belly, inhale, lift into little cobra. Roll your shoulders back, revealing the heart. Exhale, come back down. Feel how the heart, kind of the shoulders tend to collapse. Inhale, roll them back. Lift and open the center of your chest. Broaden through the chest and the center. Again, inhale to come up. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, up onto all fours. 
having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Take your right foot forward. Come into a bent knee lunge with your hands on the front thigh. Inhale here and exhale, twist to your right. Take your hand to the outside of your leg, lengthen up through the center of your body. Roll your shoulders back and with the bottom tips of your shoulder blades, scoop the heart up. Keep the upper palate moving back to help you lift the heart, revealing the heart, revealing your center, your true nature and the beauty that's within. Lift your left arm up, touch your back thigh with the back hand. Keep scooping your tailbone under, shoulder blades under to lift the heart. And then as you exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of your knee, bring your hands together and propel, excuse me, propel the heart forward. Exhale deeply, extend through the legs and through the spine. Inhale, come back to center and change sides. Left foot forward, lunge, hips parallel to the front edge of your mat, take a breath. Twist to your left, left arm behind with your right hand on your thigh. Lengthen the sides of your body. Roll your shoulders back to scoop up the heart. And while your heart is scooping up, lengthen your tailbone. The buttock flesh moves down, legs stay strong. Touch your back thigh with your back hand and then lift the right arm, inhale. From strong legs, extend the heart long. Extend the heart up into the sky. Hook the elbow to the outside. And as you exhale, twist. Spiral from the lower belly out through the top of your shoulders, top of your head. All the while, the legs holding steady. The legs know, the legs know what they're supporting. They're supporting the inner beauty. Inhale, come back to center. And step forward, Uttanasana. Hands to the hips, inhale, come all the way up. Feet hip distance apart. Actually, you can bring your feet together. Bring the heels together and hold your right foot for a thigh stretch. Thigh stretch to dancer pose. So feel the thigh stretch, bring your left hand forward. Lengthen the spine. Keep the back of the neck long, tailbone long, reaching towards the floor. Stay here or as you exhale, reach your foot up and back as you reveal the heart, open the chest. Only go as far as you can open your chest, open the heart from the support of your core and the strength of your legs. Inhale, come back up, release, feet together, exhale. Second side, hold your left foot, right arm in front. Draw your shoulders back. Draw the shoulders back to scoop up the heart. Again, looking for this revelation, creating this revelation in the same way that nature does. Right? We can participate with that, just as we can participate with the other phases of life. Lift your foot up in the back, spread your toes, and extend the heart forward and up. So although we're kind of folding down, the heart lifts up. Dancer, Natarajasan. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms in front. Widen your shoulder blades. So you separate your shoulder blades. And with strong legs, draw the head of the arm bones back. Take the upper palate back, the upper palate of your mouth back. And as you bring the upper palate of your mouth back, keep the back of the neck long and scoop the shoulder blades under. As you scoop the shoulder blades under into, to lift the heart, lift your arms. Urdhva Hastasana, tailbone reaches down, leg root into the earth, and then from the rooting of the earth, rise up through the crown of your head, through the heart, reach your arms back. Inhale to center, exhale, fold forward, and come all the way down. Sit on your bottom. Taking this principle of the shoulders looping back and hugging into the back of the heart, right? Connecting to what we know is there and then revealing it, right? It's one thing to know something. It's another thing for it to be revealed, right? There's so many things that we know and then, then, then it happens and then we really know. It's like we gain the wisdom of it. So hands behind, fingertips turned out like we did at the beginning. 
So first kind of hide the heart, you know, slouch in the posture. This is how we often are, right? We're like sitting at our desk, we're sitting in the sofa, and then just kind of feel that, kind of wake up to the fact that that's happening, and then inhale, support the heart, shoulders back, heart rises up. Inner body is still really full. Exhale, and then with your next inhalation, swoop up with your hips. Keep your chin to your chest, and if you can no longer see your hips, only if you can no longer see your hips, reach the back of your head towards the back and let it go slowly, opening the throat. If this hurts your neck, do not do it. Keep the head back if it's back, bring your bottom to the floor, and then lift your heart to the sky, come up with your head. And release. Good. Come up onto your knees. Tuck your toes under for Ustrasana. Hands to the back of your pelvis, just above the buttocks. Firm legs like we did in lunge. Shoulders back like we did in just the in Purvottanasana. And then firming the muscle of your legs, you're gonna lengthen the flesh of your buttocks down with the tailbone and lift the chest up with the shoulder blades. The shoulder blades kind of create like a, a shelf that hold and support the heart. If there's any crunching in the lower back, don't go so far, right? Stay here, keep working the activity of the lower belly, lower belly lifting up, tailbone lowering down. If this is okay for you, then reach back for your heels, hands to the heels, and keep opening, revealing the heart. The heart pumps. And then slide your chin towards your throat, lengthen the back of your neck, maybe taking your head back. One breath. Hands to the hips, lift with your heart first, and then your head. And sit on your heels, take pause, breathe. Feel the rush of awareness. And then stretch your legs out in front. Left foot to the inside of your left thigh, uh, sorry, inside of your right thigh. Like, tree, like a tree pose. So Ardha Paschimottanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And with your spine long, so you might have to sit up higher up. If your back is round already, the heart's gonna be closed off. So sit up where you can feel the chest open with ease. And then hinge in your hips, hold your leg or your foot. And then keep lengthening the spine. So we're not rounding the back here, we're lengthening. Bend your elbows, open the chest. This is why in Anusara we often work with fingertips on the floor, opening the chest. You can do that here as well. If you can hold your foot and open the chest, do that. Breathe. Inhale, come up, second side, left leg forward, the sole of your right foot on your inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Keep that length as you hinge in your hips. Fingertips on the floor, chest broad, maybe holding the foot or the ankle. Open the chest with bent elbows out to the side. So it's like opening. Once we have a revelation, we want to support that. We want to nurture it, feed it, maintain it. Right? Sometimes it goes away, then it comes back. Inhale and come back up. Exhale, Dandasana, hands to the floor, lift up. Exhale. And then rest in Shavasana. Take a few moments to relax. Enjoy your breath. Enjoy the revelation of the beauty within rising to the surface the surface of your awareness. Take another few breaths. Yeah. 
and then deepen your breath and roll to your right side to come up to sitting. Take your time, move at ease. And we'll close with the sound of Om. Honoring the heart, lift your heart, reveal your true nature, allow your true nature to be revealed to you little by little. Inhale deeply. Thank you for joining me. Breathe and be well. Namaste.